FBI team worked to verify fact from fiction last night. Here's Jason Puckett. President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden took to the debate stage Thursday for the last debate of the election. Now, right now, we're breaking down claims from each. Here's Joe Biden. The expectation is we'll have another 200,000 Americans dead be time between now and the end of the year. This claim is false. This number has been shared by many, but it's outdated. In September, the University of Washington Institute for Health Metrics estimated the U.S. would see 410,000 COVID deaths by the end of the year. They've updated that number, though. It's now lower at 316,000 deaths. That's an estimated 93,000 more deaths before the end of the year. He won't give federal subsidies to the to the gas, excuse me, to the to uh, solar and wind. Yeah. Why are we giving it to oil industry? This claim is false. There are currently tax credits available to both the wind and solar industry, like the production tax credit and investment tax credit for wind. It offers tax credit per kilowatt hour for, quote, utility scale wind. It was actually extended under this administration in December last year. Here's Donald Trump. If you notice, the mortality rate is down 85%. This claim is false. Johns Hopkins data estimates the current observed mortality rate in the U.S. is 2.7%. When we first reported on the mortality rate in January, the mortality rate was about 2%. That's actually an increase. The 85% number the president mentions can be found by comparing the deaths from the peak of U.S. COVID deaths to the most recent recorded week. On the week of April 18th, 17,077 people died. On the week of October 10th, 2,540 people died. That is a drop of about 85%, but that's not the mortality rate for the disease as a whole. We have the best carbon emission numbers that we've had in 35 years. This claim is false. It's the lowest in 25 years, not 35 years. That comes from data kept by the World Bank. Data from the Environmental Protection Agency also shows that greenhouse gas emissions were the lowest in 25 years, not 35 years. Now, we have many more claims from both Trump and Biden up on our website. And if you see something you want us to take a look at, send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.